I'm Steve Averill. I'm back with my analog modular synthesizer. And what you just saw was a Lissajou pattern on a 2465 Tektronix oscilloscope from the day, the day of analog synthesizers. And I needed to have something like that to look at my waveforms because to me, I understand what the harmonics look like and I, and I want to be able to look at them. So I'm not going to use that scope. Uh, I found uh, some parts that I can put together a uh, oscilloscope that it works in the audio frequencies um, using an Android um, pad and a little microcontroller. And I'm going to show you how I put all that together to fit in the space that I left on this 44 unit walnut cabinet. This Android pad takes up about five spaces may use five or six. The blanking panels only come in one, two, four, and eight. So I'm going to mount this on the four wide blanking panel. I'm going to use this aluminum channel to uh, park it. And so I just need to cut that to length. And I'll go into the shop and make this happen. And so I'm going to finish this on the bandsaw and just to get a nice square cut on there. I have to make two pieces, pretty much identical. And I'll just uh, clean, clean this up with a file and, and see if we can get it nice and smooth. It looks pretty good. Um, it's a nice aluminum piece and blends with the product well. I'm not sure if I'm going to want it to be aluminum. So that looks pretty good up there right now. I think, uh, I, think I just need to figure out how to mount it. And I'll take this panel off here and um, just make some markings and uh, kind of a little bit stuck here. Okay. So just uh, laying these channels um, to it and and looking at how the the Android pad fits in there. Um, I think it's just going to be a matter of mounting this top one through the same holes that mount the, the blanking panel onto the, onto the cabinet. And that I'll just mark with, uh, through the holes, through the mounting holes of the blanking panel. And then uh, I'll go drill those through. So just drilling a hole that is okay. So I've done this holes on both of these two brackets that kind of match, and I'm going to mount this one. Well, I've done this um, these holes in this panel. This is metal holes, and so. This uh, will be screwed into the metal rather than into the cabinet. And that'll expose the blanking panel's uh, bottom screw holes to mount themselves. So it's a little tricky to mount the top one now because I have to put the screws into the channel and go through the blanking panel and then into the cabinet. Um, once that's done, it's going to be very firm and everything's all squared up. So we'll see if I get this right. Oh, that's great. This kind of goes in like a, a window. You know, push it up into the top and then set it down into the bottom. I'll put a little spacing piece so that it doesn't fall all the way down and, and then fall out. I have to mount some quarter inch jacks to uh, um, feed the signal into the uh, controller. So I'm going to pre-drill some tiny holes for where I want those jacks to be. I'm putting uh, three for channel one and three for channel two. I'm doing that just so that I have kind of a multiples. Here I'm going to use a step drill. It's just perfect for drilling through thin metals. This is aluminum, but uh, it 
you know, can tend to sort of bind and such. So this just drills one side, you know, increasingly bigger holes as it goes through. It's kind of a long stroke, but it makes a very clean hole in thin metal. And I uh, found that it worked very good for this project and other projects similar to it. There they are, six holes. I'm just mounting the uh, quarter inch jacks in and I'm playing around with how this is mounted right now. I just want to see how this whole thing looks. So that's my little spacing bar that uh, makes it not fall all the way down. Fits in nice. I've got my six jacks. I just sort of realized while I was looking at it that that the aluminum color is not good. Um, kind of stands out too much on the horizontal, so I'm going with a, a black finish. And I'm just spraying on some satin black onto the, directly onto this aluminum. And I'll probably uh, put on three or four coats of this so that it's reasonably stout. And um, just kind of flipping it up to get to the other sides. So in the end, I painted this four times over a period of a couple of days, letting it dry good between. Okay, I have a hole here. It's big enough. Let's see how this works. That'll go in there very nicely. And that'll lay down like this. This will lay over the top of it. Okay, that'll work. So the next thing is I've got this oscilloscope device, a microcontroller with some oscilloscope software, and a tiny little proto board for it. Just gonna stick this on the back of this board. It kind of goes sideways. Figure on sort of looping this and uh, see how that works. on there. And I just want to leave a row of pins. I love the smell of solder in the morning. It's gonna make sort of a slip here. Well, these don't need to be any longer than to get to over there, so I'll cut them. I'm just going to insert this thing in here for now. And uh, 
There we go. And then we'll feed it some sound here. There we go. So I've got two different sources going in. You can look at the different shapes here. Sinking on the top one, if, we, if these were exactly in tune, then this would be stopped. So look at that right there. That's pretty close. And listen to how it sounds. Get the pulse width changed here. Okay, so listen to how this sounds when I throw it out of pitch. And then the other direction, flat. It's great. You can just stop it this way. It's a good picture. And go again. And put the pulse modulation on this one. slow down that modulation a little bit because of the sink. There. There's a fifth that's synced up. It worked better when I was syncing off of the, the lower frequency one. So I'm going to play around a little bit here with with these tones. I'll just turn this one off for a while and we'll just talk to this one here. So when we put the resonance on, we get these great views of the harmonics. Let's expand this back out again. Hear those harmonics coming in. First harmonic. Just see the harmonics. If I turn the resonance up, you can see them even better. That's what I wanted to be able to see with this thing. See what this sounds like and looks like when I'm playing it. High frequencies. Hey, thank you for joining me. I'm Steve Averill, and this is my uh, modular synthesizer and my experiment with uh, an android based oscilloscope so that I can look at the waveforms on my synthesizer and see what some of these harmonics look like and use it for tuning and such. Thank you.